Now let's go and let's add the footer. So the footer is interesting. We could probably hard code the content, although there's some pretty interesting things you can do with Plenty to pull out like menu links and things like that to make them editable. For now, let's not worry about that, but it would be a good optimization to go back and, and do at some point. Let's for now just grab the footer. So we have the whole footer right here. We can grab this. Let us edit it and copy the whole thing. Now, I'm not going to put the footer in the component section. You could do that. I think it's better in the, the global section. Actually, it looks like I already added that earlier. Now I'm remembering. So let me just come and paste that in. Let's just format this a little differently. So there's a lot of like fake links to fake Twitter and uh, LinkedIn accounts and things like that. That's totally fine. We can leave those. So we're gonna get rid of these hard-coded links. We don't wanna take people off the current app that they're on. So I don't know if we have an About Us page. So for now, I'm just gonna uh, make it so it's not going anywhere. The pricing page will exist eventually. So I'll come here and do a forward slash for pricing. And the quick start, again, I don't think we have anything there. So we can just make these go to the home page for now. Let's make them go to the home page so we get rid of that spelt error saying that we shouldn't be using the hash. Similar for, for all these here too. We're gonna to do the same thing. So we save that. And we'll come back to our HTML.spelt. And we'll make sure that we have a footer here. So I'm going to add the footer. And I'll just make sure to import it at the top here. So we'll add an import footer from footer.spelt. Let's save that. back to the, the main page here, reload this. Okay, so we have a basic footer here too.